Hello there, welcome back to those of you who are subscribers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is gonna be your reading for October 16th through the 31st. Hard to believe we're at you know, the end of October already. Thank you so much for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. It really makes me so happy to see how active you guys are on the videos. Um, so if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's gonna take you to my website with the different options available for you. So you'll just choose and book directly through my website. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I literally have clients spread all around the world. So um, the link is below to my website. It'll give you more information about that. Read the testimonials and definitely take advantage of the 15% discount that I have for first time energy clients. And the energy therapy really is an amazing tool to help bring you fully into balance, to center you. Um, to help you release any emotions or things, thoughts, and patterns that are no longer serving you. And it really brings you to a more empowered place so that you can deal with things in life and relationships and, you know, decisions from a very stable and grounded place. So again, the link is below to my website. Please take advantage of the 15% discount for first-time energy clients. You will also find the link below for Instant Go if you just have a quick question and want an answer. Um, Instant Go is perfect for that if you don't want a full reading. So again, the link is below for Instant Go. So that's it. We're going to get into the readings now. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Again, this is for October 16th through the 31st. I've already super shuffled. So I'm just going to do a couple last minute ones here for you. I apologize if the lighting is not so good. The power is actually out right now. And in Mexico, you just never know when it's going to come back on. So we're just going to go with it, okay? <laughs> so bear with me. All right. Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising. Gemini. So first out, we've got the Eight of Wands. Some of you may be traveling or taking a little weekend trip. Um, or, you know, this is kind of also finding your direction and, and ready to move forward or move on something. So I, I do feel fast moving energy with this. Um, I'm not really feeling big trips, but some of you may be taking little weekend trips or little getaways. Um, and with that, I've also got the Hermit and the Temperance card. So some of you may be taking a time out just to really get in touch with you. And um, I know in the last reading, there was kind of like some a big, big news or a big shock that came through. So some of you may have really pulled back from that and taken a little mini retreat. So maybe you're traveling on your own and you're just taking a weekend to get away and get clear. Um, but the Hermit card does show me that you are growing from this, uh, whatever the experience is or was, and you're getting more in touch with yourself and what it is that you want. And the Temperance card is really about patience and balance and um, the blending of two extremes. So maybe you are feeling a bit out of balance. I know Gemini with the dual um, duality of your sign you know, maybe you just need to take some time to pull back into yourself. Um, the Temperance card to me also can represent like a reconciliation. So for some of you, if you had a falling out with a partner or a disagreement or a separation or something, I do sense um, there will be a reconnection. Yes, and the reconnection is happening after you take some time to get clear on what it is that you want. Let's see what else we've got for you. Yeah, so, okay, so some of you for, you know, that do have a rec uh, reconciliation happening, so I've got the Queen of Cups here. 
Um, this could be, you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody that's just really in touch with their emotions and their feelings. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling this is more for Gemini's that have been in separation or that were hoping or wanting a reconciliation. So I do feel that this person is going to come back. Um, but there's going to be a lot that you have to work through with them or deal with within yourself. So um, I'm feeling some anxiety and uh, past pain, past hurt. So there may have been um, some dishonesty or miscommunication that went on between the two of you. And with you being an air sign, I do feel these are your energies. So there is something that you're going to have to deal with and work through. You know, the Nine of Swords is a lot of fears and a lot of anxieties, and it's kind of really being bound up and stuck in our thoughts. So, you know, you may need longer in the hermit mode than you thought, um, because that's really when we can sort those sort of things out. But if this Queen of Cups energy does come back to meet with you, it's this is also asking that you don't hold all those thoughts by yourself, right? It's to open up and really communicate to this person, you know, what hurt you, what happened, what you want, um, if there's any possibility of moving forward. Yeah, so I'm feeling that for some of you, it's like you want this to work out with this person but only if they are gonna match you equally. So here you are, this is the, the card of Gemini, but I'm feeling this is representing what you want. Like you want a relationship that's gonna match you equally as a true partnership, um, as a team, you know, everything that that embodies. So it's like you wanna work through this with this person but they have to be willing to want that also. And I think if they aren't willing to step up and match you in this, then it's like you, it's like the, you don't really need to make a decision. It's kind of like they're making the decision for you. So with the two of swords, it you're trying to get all the information that you need to make a decision about this person. And I do, I just, I'm feeling a quite heavy energy of you guys trying to figure out this situation. Like a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions. Um, because it, I feel there's like a fear that you don't want to put into something that is not going to work out. So, you know, for those of you that do have somebody coming back, it's going to take some effort to figure out if they're the right one for you and to really work through some of those fears to make sure they are going to match you equally in this relationship. And with the Ace of Wands as the last card out, yes, I do feel some of you will work through this and it will be a new start for the relationship. It will be, you know, new inspiration and passion and excitement and like a new beginning. So you will start a fresh new cycle with this person coming back um, as long as both of you are willing to work through it together. Um, for some of you that don't choose to stay in the relationship, you will start on a new path and be open to meeting somebody new. So um, this could be somebody new coming into your life as well, like a new fire sign. So for those of you who are single um, and not working through a reconciliation, I do feel you will either have a water sign or a uh, fire sign showing up for you. Um, in these first two weeks. But for those of you dealing with somebody, you're going to be working through some challenges, um, which I think obviously challenges are very necessary to build a deeper connection and a foundation and to truly get clear on what it is that you both want. And with you showing up in your own reading, I do feel that you are going to hold strong to what you want and what it is that you need. And this could have a lot to do with Venus being retrograde as well. All relationships are highlighted right now. So as well as our self-value and our self-esteem and how we, um, you know, really ask for what it is that we want and not settling. So it's a very powerful time for all relationships right now. So let's see what else we've got here for you.
Okay, so the last message for you, Gemini, is blessings. So I feel like what this is saying is don't get too caught up in this situation. Know that it's it's positive. It needs to happen. You know, the Hermit and the Temperance are very, very powerful cards, and you need to go through that. Um, and then working through this with this partner, it's like you're really blessed to have the opportunity um, to communicate and to work through this challenge, you know, should this person come back and, you know, you guys reconnect for reconciliation. So um, I hope that resonated with you. If not, you can watch your moon sign or your rising sign. Um, I'm not able to respond to all the comments, but I love reading every single comment that you guys leave on the videos. It makes me really happy um, to see your participation in that. So thank you. If you want a personal reading, the link is below. It'll take you to my website with the different options available. And also, I'm a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, and the link is below to my website. All the information that you need is there. And definitely take advantage of the 15% discount that I do have for first-time energy clients. Okay, Gemini, so that's it for now. I am truly wishing you all the best, and I will see you back here for the first half of uh, November readings. Take care.